Hi there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be using the brilliant NX Wind. Now this has a mode called Von Karman, and this uses a clever bit of maths to create these really realistic gusts of wind. So we're going to use this to simulate a nice leaf scene, but this can be used for anything. Large scale gusts like desert dunes, or much smaller scale scenes like confetti or leaves. So let's get that clock started, and we'll begin. In our scene then we have a very simple uh, setup here. Let's first of all have a look at our emitter. It's obviously a rectangular emission shape and if we go to the emitter emission tab, we're in rate emission mode. We're berthing 20 per second. They have a, a low speed look of 32 centimeters, radius of five, but with a variation of two centimeters. And we're viewing these uh, in our display as plain filled. That's our particles. We have got an NX gravity in the scene which is set to a very low strength 40 centimeters and we have a default NX wind which is blowing our particles in the plus Z direction. Let's just make that visible in editor off. We don't need to look at that. The particles are interacting with a floor plane. There it is and it has got a XP collider tag on. So that's our setup. So what we want to do is first of all before we have a look at the physics let's get some um, spinning going on in here. So we're going to go to our emitter extended data and we're going to use rotation. Let's activate that and the rotation is going to be random. So now they've all been given a random birth rotation and now we want them to be kind of randomly spinning. So a little bit further down in this tab, we've got simple spin. Let's switch it on. We've got a spin amount of six on each axis with a variation of five, and that's going to give us this random spinning. OK, so now let's have a look at our physics. By default, our Nexus wind is in the standard mode, and we've got turbulent settings and wind settings. And this isn't going to give us the realistic kind of turbulent eddies and gusts that we're going for. So we're going to change this to the brilliant von Karman mode. Now just completely in the default settings let's have a look at this and this is much more realistic in the way in which the turbulent gusts are calculated and even look in the default settings you can see we're getting something that's far more pleasing it looks realistic like these gusting um, eddies and swirls. Now we don't want this to be quite blowing so hard in the plus Z so let's put this wind strength way down to maybe 30 centimeters and now they're falling and stopping pretty quickly. So we're going to control and art direct this via the turbulent settings. So let's open those up. And all we're going to do, let's leave everything default, but we're just going to play around with the scale and the friction velocity. Now this scale distance, if we up this to say 5,000 centimeters, we're going to see much stronger influence of the gusts on our particles. Let's have a look. So it's changed, they're not flopping quite so much, but there doesn't seem to be enough kind of power in the way in which these turbulent gusts are affecting our particles. And that's because we now need to increase the friction velocity, which will kind of exaggerate the effects. So if we put this up to say 0.2, yes, look, we can start seeing that that has increased the strength of these. And actually some of the particles are kicking up, which is exactly what we want. We could even increase this further to say 0.35. And now we're getting some parts of those gusts are really kicking those leaves. Look at this one flying way up and then falling back down. So that's just the kind of look that we're going for. Perhaps we've got a little bit too much. It depends. It's, it's up to you to art direct this. I'm going to put this down to maybe 0.25 something like that. So now that we have that, let's make these look a little bit more like leaves. And we're going to do that with a generator. We're going to generate geometry from the position of these particles. Now, if I just come out a bit and activate these four plane primitives, you can see that we've got these four giant leaves. And if I hit N Q to hide the materials, you'll see that they're just primitive one polygon planes, uh, but they have a material on that's got an alpha channel, which is cutting them out and making them look like this. So this is a cool way of making something look really detailed from a very basic piece of geometry, which is fast to simulate. So what we're going to do is go to generators. We're going to bring in an XP generator. There it is. It says which emitter do you want to use? So let's bring in our emitter. And we can then go to 
our um, planes and let's make these all a child of the generator so all of those leaf planes and you can see as I put them in they're disappearing from view in the viewport automatically let's go back to the generator we want to use the multiple child objects randomly and let's do the super efficient multi instance clone type and now we've got that set up you will see that we are generating our leaves from our particles brilliant looking really nice and now that we've got this set up and because they're so efficient we can go to our emitter let's go to the emission tab let's bump this up to a massive amount of particles maybe 500 per second so loads of leaves and we're still going to get really good simulation times and viewport performance we're getting our leaves being kicked out and these turbulent eddies lifting them up and now that we've got so many leaves, perhaps you think it's too strong. We can go to the NX wind, turbulence. Let's reduce this friction velocity maybe down to 0.2. So it's not as got as big an impact. And that's how we can use the fantastic Von Karman wind mode to get this realistic gusting and blowing of seam particles.